This is my sweet little 19 year old goldfish, Lucy. She used to have a partner named Ethel, and another one named May, but she's outlived them all. And uh, we came out here one day and found her just laying in the tank like this. And we thought, well, okay, maybe this is it. Maybe this is the end. She's, you know, survived so many tumors and all kinds of things, but this looked really bleak. But then, it turned out, whoa, it turned out that she, she still really liked to eat. So I thought, well, what do we do? How can, you know, what can you do when this happens? So we went online and looked and there all these ways that people had for like killing the fish. You could euthanize it, flush it down the toilet, oh, the children shouldn't see it. And uh, so we realized there was nothing there to help people if their beloved pet should ever come to this state. So we've devised a method for feeding her over the last six months. Seems to work pretty well, although we are running low on her fish food that she's been eating. Uh, she has to have this here. Anybody can find this. It's te this Tetrafin Sinking Mini Sticks. Uh, every container has some really long ones in it, and those are the ones that we need in order to work with this feeding system. So hold on, and I will demonstrate. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the stick. Um, here's the end of the stick and it has a little groove cut in it so we can stab the food. It's pretty long. In fact, it's very long because it needs to reach the whole thing. And then this is the plate. Of, I find the large kibbles and put them on the plate here. And then you just got to stab them, poke them in there, and, you know, feed the fish. So here we go. Oh. First thing is to turn off the tank. And you can watch, you'll get really excited here. Uh, so now it's time to eat. And then, let's come on over here. I kind of climb the stick a little bit and move her out of the corner. So there. And then I'm going to spear one of these kibbles. This is, here we go, and number one. I usually give her, come on now. Yes, she got it. It's like reverse fishing. And they said originally that when, when she was well, you know, you don't feed the fish more than they can eat in two minutes. And she would usually eat about half a dozen of them at a time. Yeah, good job. And I do this twice a day, morning and evening. It's hard to get these things. And then you have to put it really like right on the end. So it's this that like that. Alright, here comes number three. I think I got it on too loose. Ah, there it goes. It's gonna float down. So this is what you have to do when you miss them. Oh, poor Lucy. Sorry dear, I'm gonna have to prolong your feeding for a second. Well anyway, here we go. So you you have to dig a Clear a little hole in the glass, I mean in the stones, so you can see the bottom of the tank. And then find the kibble, there it is, that's a rock, oh, there it is. This, is, this takes a long time. And then you move the kibble over there into the clearing, the little glass meadow, stab it again, and then try to Okay, let's do this again. There we go. I got it, and uh, I do have it there. See it? Okay, let's move it back to the end. And then let's give it to Miss Waiting Lips over here. <gasps> no, it fell apart. Did you get it? Patience, patience, patience. For both of us here. Uh, this is like palliative care for the fish. Uh, she outlived our cat. Come on now, here we go. All right. Oh, darn. I 
used to get my hair wet. My, I would, now I remember to roll up my sleeves. Sometimes, sometimes I forget. I don't have my glasses on and my contacts in, and I get my face too close to the water. Um, okay. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, and then I'm just gonna turn the bubbles back on. And uh, she likes her bubbles. Let's just zoom out here. She can see her in her little tank. And uh, that's it. Okay, Lou. Good job. So the other thing I wanted to say, or maybe I thought you might be interested to know, this requires a little bit of extra cleaning to keep everything, you know, really healthy for her. So I thought you might want to see sort of how, how we managed to do that too. Um, we have one side here. This is an actual thing that you can get from the pet store. Uh, it's this long thing with a tube, and the tube goes, the long tube goes out the door, and uh, it's basically a siphon. It is a siphon. So, just go outside, and then what I do outside, I just suck on the other end of this, like this, and the water goes down and waters my front yard. as it is and then just can go in here and get out like the extra little poops you know any food that got dropped pretty clean now I actually just did this look there's some whoa dump a load on her that would be bad and then uh, just kind of top it off do this a couple times a week and then we can change the whole tank like every other week. And that's it.